Well, hot damn. All right. Starting off with a Grim Reaper. I am not a liar. I have killed thousands. He's honest. I have fed more drug fiends than the top three pharmaceutical companies combined. Uh, yeah. I have stolen children from parents, wives from husbands, wiped out entire generations. But lying, that I have never done. The rest are offenses against humanity. Lying is an offense against yourself. I am the head of the Santa Blanca organization, which you call a cartel. I had a dream. I dreamed of a land where we could grow our own coca, produce our own cocaine, where we could run our business free from interference from the police, the government, the army, the Yankees. In my dream, a woman's voice asked me, Sueño, mijo, what if you had your own country? Like Moses, I led my people to the promised land, Bolivia. We came here. We bought the coca fields. What we couldn't buy, we took. We well, bought the rude. police, the military, the Damn. judges, oh. the politicians. Oh. Huh. We were on the verge of becoming the government itself. On the razor's edge from fulfilling my dream. Of creating a narco state. The nation of Santa Blanca. Damn. All right. Interesting start. Last week, a crude explosive detonated outside the U.S. Embassy in La Paz, Bolivia. Two Marine Embassy guards were injured in the blast. Two days later, a CIA asset in central Bolivia provided us with these images. Our analysts have identified the individual in the photo as DEA Special Agent Ricardo Ricky Sandoval, my friend. Sandoval has had spent the last six years investigating the local cocaine industry. Our understanding is that Sandoval was the intended target of the bombing. What the embassy bomb did not accomplish was completed up close and personal. Sandoval was captured, tortured, and killed. Huh. Then his body was dumped. We have yet to recover it. Our target, the group responsible for the embassy bombing and the death of Special Agent Sandoval, is the drug trafficking organization commonly known as the Santa Blanca Cartel. Yesterday, they were just narcos. Today, they're narco-terrorists. Initially, the Bolivian government resisted the Mexican cartel. They formed UNIDAD, a Bolivian special forces unit. It didn't go as planned. Thousands of bodies later, politicians, police officers, and journalists have become an endangered species. The Bolivian government has imploded on itself. With no other options, the new president made a deal with Santa Blanca. You stop killing our people, we'll look the other way. And yeah, this has gotten dark. Since then, Santa Blanca has turned Bolivia into the nexus of the South American drug trade. With their friends in Mexico, they also have a clear pipeline to the U.S. and Canada. The only way to stop Santa Blanca for good is to completely dismantle them, piece by piece. The cartel is organized into four operations. Production, smuggling, security, and influence. At the top of it all is El Jefe de los Jefes, Boss of Bosses, El Sueño. That's the one we saw in the beginning. Hey, we got a narco blocks. We're there in the watchtower. What now? Oh. You gonna turn around? Okay, 
Here's the deal, asshole. You answer my questions, or I put a bullet in your gut and leave you to die in your own shit. Oh! You entiend this? Chill the fuck out, cabron. What do you want? Amaru, where can I find him? <laughs> you serious? That's what this is about? Sure thing. He's at Atoya Farm. Go on. Then you can see what we do to people who fuck with us. People like you. We need to get this done in a hurry. Amaru's an old man. He's not gonna last long under torture. Shit, they've been working on him for a while. There's a good chance he's already dead. Maybe, That's what maybe I'm not. saying. Amaru's a major player in the rebel movement. The cartel will keep him alive as long as they can to find out what he knows. We can't afford to take any chances. Too much riding on this. Let's move. Oh! Oh! I can fix my load out here. Oh, very cool. Oh, okay. Well, I don't have much to fix, so... Hmm. I'm going with that's it. I'm moving to position. Good to go. Target lost. Got a Sicario over by the barn. Down, they're going to see you. This is easy. Easy money. Got this. Oh, 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 oh. bitch. Don't know we here no more. You guys all good? Damn, I love this job. 
Okay, um... Easy money, baby. Easy money. Easy money. Do you mind not cussing me out? Are you Amaru? What's left of him anyway? Come on, we're getting you out of here. Let's go in the chopper. I'm feeling like a chopper ride, y'all. Sure are a lot of lights and switches up here. Join us. Oh, get in, dude. Where are you taking me? Back to your friends. Entonces Pacatari has made his deal with the malditos extranjeros, the young fool. Take it up with him, senor. Oh, cool. I love everything. Oh, I love having a helicopter. This shit makes it so quick. I take it. Awesome. I can put this to use. Oh, M40. Change your equipment, weapons, and loadout page. Each weapon has its own state of customization possibilities. Check special weapons to see how you can unlock them. You cannot customize them. Oh. He's not the most gracious of hosts. Dude, he looks beat up these to shit. Locals, these demons, they had questioning me. Let us see. Their talk of love was enough to make me vomit. But their methods were not... Were not... Were their names Yuri and Polito? See, si, Yuri Polito. These are the fucks that tortured Ricky Sandoval while Sueño questioned him. I want them bad. We only saw run-of-the-mill Sicarios when we freed Amaru. But I haven't seen Yuri and Polito in at least three days, maybe four. I don't know where they are now. We need more intel. We'll search every village and camp until we find something. Somebody's gotta know something. Gather documents, hack computers, interrogate hostile lieutenants, talk to civvies, whatever it takes. We'll turn over every rock. Oh damn. Go on complete badass mode. Hey, what's Mission complete. Heads up. Bowman's file on Yuri and Polito is coming through. That's the rundown on La Yuri. There were four people in the room the night DEA agent Ricky Sandoval was murdered. El Sueño, the head of the Santa Blanca cartel, Ricky, and the last two were La Yuri and El Polito. Why is this like a fat fuck? Yuri and Polito met at a poor state-run hospital in Chiapas, where El Polito was doing his residency, and La Yuri worked as a nurse. Wow. It was love at first sight. Because she fight. is fat. From the first moment their eyes met, they were inseparable. A love like no other.
One day, a Buchon named La Plaga walked into the ER, all shot up. It was touch and go for a while, but Yuri and Polito were able to save his life. La Plaga was grateful. He showered them with gifts, invitations to the most exclusive parties, even a new car. Ah. And after a while, La Plaga made Yuri and Polito the personal medical staff of the Santa Blanca cartel. But that wasn't their main job. See, Yuri and Polito know about the human body. They know how much pain a person can endure before he'll die. They know how to keep a person alive and awake so they can feel the pain. And most of all, they know how to inflict that pain. That's what they do in a type what of problem. What the hell? When Santa Blanca captures someone that refuses to talk, the Yuri and El Polito make them talk. They break people. Like I said, there were four people in the room the night Ricky Sandoval was murdered. Sueño, Ricky, Yuri, and Polito. They kept Ricky alive while Sueño tortured him. Non-stop for 47 hours straight. They broke Ricky Sandoval. Then Sueño executed him. Shit. Oh, okay, there's skills. Mm. Yes, this is key. Don't have any more? Oh. Okay, now what is this? Alright. Oh, okay, submachine gun. I'm getting rid of this or this okay edit parts scope ah, really it has an has an eotech on there ah, want that g28 mm, mama Daddy loves his some scopes. Okay, trigger. Launch trigger available. Magazine. Understandable. Barrel. Yeah, this is definitely the one I'd want. I would. I would not want a short bed line. Need a long barrel. Give me it. Damn it. Alright, it is suppressed. Badass. Alright, um. Oh, paint. Okay. I see it might look cool. Um. What kind of paint do we got to work with here? Alright, this stuff. Olive green. Definitely not. Go with that one. Yuri and El Polito. They're a key part of Santa Blanca's security operation. Remember to check out Bowman's briefing on the chain of command. Guy in charge of security is El Murrow, the wall. Personal bodyguard and childhood friend to El Sueño. El Murrow's little brother is La Plaga. Nasty piece of shit. Very active on social media. Head Sicario for the cartel. The hunt starts now. We want Sueño, we gotta work our way up the hierarchy. First targets are Yuri and Polito. We find the intel, we track them down, we take them out. Alright guys, if you liked the video, please don't forget to smash that thumbs up button for me. If you are new and you haven't already, please subscribe. If you are hesitant, subscribe anyways. Give me a chance. I'm sure I will grow on you. And welcome to the family. Keep back, relax, and look for my next video. Or if you're not even ready to wait, you're impatient, like I would be, go and check out the other videos that we have previously uploaded. I love you guys.